Hi developers, welcome to Gilgikify, my name is Said Kohansol and in this video I am gonna show you how to create a country restriction widget with two options for visitors to see my website, whitelisted countries or blacklisted countries. I am using vanilla javascript, you can customize my script and use it on your website or web application. I must say that if javascript is disabled in the user's browser, nothing will happen because our processing is down on the client side or front end. So if you want to handle a safe country restriction, I suggest you use a server side or backend country restriction like a PHP script or Apache HD access or any other choice. I'm adding a source code link inside the description for you. If you like my content, please support my channel. Thank you. I have a dummy website and in CSS, I created an access denied error. To display that at the right time. Also an animation for that error. So let's start JavaScript. I added some free IP information third parties for you. And I will define two functions to black blacklist countries and allow whitelist countries. First let's define a function to display the access denied error. When this function is going to run, I display the access denied error by manipulating the body element with HTML DOM. So when I call that function, I see a full screen error notification message. It's infinite pulsate CSS animation and it's exclamation mark icon from the bootstrap icons library. Now let's define a function to block blacklist countries. First I define an array with some country codes in the alpha2 code style. Germany, United States, United Kingdom, Ukraine, Argentina, Finland, Canada, Japan, Norway, Russia. Now I have 10 countries in my blacklist array. I define a function to get user country code by IP from the third party's API. With a fetch request to the IP API server, I get the user country code. You can also make an XML HTTP request instead of fetch. Getting user IP information as a JSON response. Now I have a result about the user IP information right here. So let's define an if statement. The JavaScript includes method returns true if a string or an array contains an specified string. And in this case, I'm gonna check the user IP country code is on the blacklist or not. Then display the access denied error if that returns true. And if there is a problem with API link, I will display an error in the console. Ok, in API JSON, I have a key with the name country that returns my country code. Let's check that API. I have a Germany IP now with DE code and this is the country code I selected in my function. Country as key and country code as value. Now I call my get country code function and api as a parameter and i call black blacklist countries right here okay now let's check that functions in the browser i have germany ip and i added the germany country code to my blacklist so i should see the access denied error now i made a typo okay Now I'm gonna change my IP from Germany to United Kingdom. Ok, let's check it again. Yes, that returns the access denied error because the United Kingdom country code is in my blacklist array. Now checking a country that doesn't exist in my blacklist array. I check with France IP now. And as you can see, my website is accessible because France's country code doesn't exist in my blacklist array. 
We have a complete function to block blacklist countries. Now let's define a function to allow whitelist countries. I just copy my blacklist function and convert it to whitelist function. There is only one thing that should be changed an exclamation mark before the whitelist countries array. So that means if the user's country doesn't exist in the whitelist countries, I display the access denied error. I have France IP now, and I haven't the France country code in my whitelist, so it should return an access denied error now. It's working fine. Now let's check with the country that exists in the whitelist. I change my IP to Ukraine IP. And as you can see my website is accessible because the Ukraine country code exists in my whitelist countries array. Ok, everything is working fine. Now I check my functions with the other third parties. To use my country restriction script, you just need to link my script in your HTML code. You can download the source code from a link inside the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, please support my channel. Thank you.